Let me ask you a question. If every business in the whole world needs a copywriter, then how is it that you still have zero clients? Well, look, I'll tell you the answer, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. The reason why you still don't have any clients is because your outreach sucks. Why do I know that your outreach sucks? Well, I'm pretty sure at some point or another, maybe even currently, you've sent prospects a cold DM or an email and you opened it up with a compliment. Oh, uh, hey there. I was just walking my pet goldfish and I thought about your channel. So uh, I really just wanted to reach out to you and say that I really liked your YouTube video that you did about nutrition. Anyways, um, I have this good idea for your business that would make you a million dollars in sales. Uh, can I send it over to you as a free gift? Look, man, I'm just going to come right out and say it. You starting off the conversation with a compliment is pretty much the exact equivalent of you being a simp. Picture this, right? You walk up to a chick and then you tell her, oh my God, you so fine. You're the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. Girl, can I please take you on a date? Look, bro, you're coming off as super low value and also extremely needy. When you open up an email with a compliment, it's obvious that you're just trying to suck up to them so that you can get something in return. And most business owners will see right through it, which is why you get ghosted so often. But don't even sweat it, man, because here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you four of my most effective email openers that I've used to close tens of thousands of dollars worth of clients. So buckle up, because you guys are in for a real treat. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first email opener that I wanna run past you guys is called the I Know You're Busy. And it goes a little bit something like this. Let's say, for example, I was reaching out to somebody who does real estate. I would hit them up and say something like, yo, I know you're probably busy playing real life Monopoly right now, but I thought it would be wrong if I didn't point this out to you. And that's pretty much how you would open up the email and then you would transition to the rest of the email in the body. Now, another thing that you could do to make this even more personal is go through and actually do some research on their page and figure out what other things that they could be doing at that time. For example, yo, I know you're probably busy playing with that adorable golden retriever of yours, but I thought it would be wrong if I didn't bring this up to you. Okay, now coming into hook number two, we have the I noticed. I noticed that when I got your lead magnet, your whole welcome sequence actually ended up in my promotions folder. Is this something that you're currently working on fixing? I just wanted to know because this could be causing more leads to actually slip through your funnel. Now, the reason this is so good is because it's so short and to the point. Guys, the thing with business owners is that they don't have time for anything. Meaning if they look at your email for three seconds and they don't find it worthy of their time, they're moving on. So by making it really nice and short, you're making that commitment effort a lot lower. Coming in at number three, we have voice notes. Now this is a great one to use on Instagram and I'll tell you why. Sending a voice note is not only faster than using a DM script or copy and pasting and changing variables, but it's also a million times more personal because they can be assured without the shadow of a doubt that it's actually a real person on the other end of that message. Whereas Instagram is always infested with all these bots trying to get you to buy something. The only thing that you gotta remember with voice memos is that you can't make it sound too robotic or rehearsed. Otherwise, it'll sound more ingenuine and it'll sound like you're just sending out to every single person that you come across. And now number four, which is my personal favorite, I like to call the copy comedian. This is basically where you can just add a funny photoshopped picture of either their face on something or your face on something, or just something that will probably make them laugh and catch their attention as soon as they open it. Hey, I signed up for your newsletter and this happened. The devil on my shoulder told me that I should just keep it moving and let you leave money on the table. But the angel on my shoulder reminded me of how I know exactly how it could fix your deliverability problem and that I should be a good person and just reach out to you about it. You see, I noticed that all of your emails have been ending up in my promo and spam folder. This is actually killing your open rates and really limiting the effectiveness of your email marketing. And the worst part is, the longer you leave it without fixing it, the worse it will eventually get. So if I were you, I would nip this little problem in the butt ASAP. Now this is great because it's playful, it's witty, and it's really honestly hard to say no. Now if you want to see more of my copy comedian outreach templates, I actually have a whole ton of them in the ultimate resource pack. It's completely free. It's got tons of stuff like templates, it's got follow-up templates, it's got DM scripts, it's got pretty much everything you need to land your first client. So make sure you go and check it out and get it for absolutely free down in the description. That's it for now and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.